Hi everybody and welcome to Paper Wishes Vlog. I'm Lene Gehrig and today I've got some of my favorite card making tools. These are Paper Cuts Edgers and they are from our friends at Creative Expressions. We've got the Paper Cuts collection here. They're all winter and or Christmas themed. So we've got the Joyous Santa Edger, the Penguin Sledding Edger, and the under the mistletoe edger. And let me tell you what the, let me show you rather, what these look like. So this is the Santa one. And um, this guy is, let's measure him. He is six and a little over six and three quarters, I'd say six and seven eighths inches long, okay? So if you're going to use him on your card, okay, there's a folded, card this card is six and a half inches wide you could put him right here and it would still work because just those little tips run off the edges right there however it wouldn't go through your die cutting machine like your big shot if it's got a six inch wide platform it wouldn't go through this way okay so there's a couple of things that you can do to adjust for that if you only have six and a half a six inch wide platform and you've got um, an edger that's a little longer for that. What you can do is you can actually turn this over, the flap over. I like to secure these with a little bit <clears throat> of tape, okay, so like repositional tape, low tack tape. And you can actually fold this over and then turn it and run it through your machine like this. You're gonna have a little bit of a an indent on this side, but hey, it's on the back of your card and you can always cover the inside of your card with a little bit of paper, okay? The rest of these actually go in, they're also a little longer than six inches. This one, oh, this one's under six inches. So this one is the under the mistletoe edger and the penguin edger is just over, this one's almost six and a quarter. So this one too, couldn't go through your machine like this, but it's a different kind of edger. It's, it's meant to go horizontally. So let me show you what these look like. Here is how the Santa looks. He's cut out, isn't he jolly? And then here's how the mistletoe one looks, okay? So it would go, um, you would actually cut this out independently. It wouldn't necessarily have to be on the flap of your card unless you wanted to do it like this on the flap of your card, okay? And then we've got penguin. Okay, so aren't they fun? And um, my friend Debbie and I did some fun things with these. So let me show you how these work. All right. So as I said, you can either cut these from the edge of your card, in which case this one would look like this when it came out. If it was a card, it would look like this, right? And if you wanted to just cut them from a piece of paper and then glue them on your card like this, that works too. So let me show you what Debbie did. She took that up a notch. Here's the penguin one. Okay, so what she did with this one, first of all, she used some cosmic shimmer shimmer shakers to create this amazing background, okay? And these are little shakers that you just unscrew like this. They have a little shaker top. And then you just shake them out onto some white cardstock and mist a little bit with water. And they give you this wonderful muted background, okay? There we go. And so what she did with this was she took her penguin piece right here. She actually cut it this so that it was even with the card edges, okay? Scissors. Let's cut this even. All right. And then from our dotted duos paper pack number three, we have this black dotted paper. She just cut out the little Mr. Penguin guy here. Okay. So she cut away all of the excess pieces, like the swirls and things like that. And that's really quick and easy to do.
you're just cutting out Mr. Penguin. All right, and then she did the same, and she cut out green as well. Go. She glued that right over the top of the white one. And then she did the same with this nice um, moss green, and she cut out just the scarf and the hat and the trees, okay? Very simple to do. And then she foam taped this piece right here over that wonderful background that she created. And then she created a new card flap using the snowfall acetate. It's got this great snowflake pattern on it, right? So she put that right here. She actually went a little bit above the card and then took her bone folder and folded this top edge over. That's about 3 eighths of an inch. She folded that over right here. No, she didn't. Made a mistake, y'all. Okay, so what she did with that is she took her card that she's already colored the back of and she cut that right here. She cut away three quarters of an inch from the top. And then she just took her piece of acetate and she glued that right there, okay? And then you've got this wonderful little piece on the front of it that she foam taped. And what she did with that piece And what she did with that piece, here we go. she went ahead and she took her bottom piece right here. And instead of using that again, she just went ahead and went to the snow, to the Santa one. And she mixed these by just cutting off the Santa. So you could use the Santa in another way. You could hold on to him. But she wanted to use this great little swirly background on her card front. She put that right there, foam taped that there, and then you can cut another one and you can glue that right to the back. So that's going to cover up that foam tape. Go. You can also take a little strip of paper and glue that right there, trim that even with your card, and that'll cover up that little seam. There we go, whoops. All righty. And then to finish it all off, there's some really beautiful borders here. And we have a collection of, these are called Fancy Border Dazzles. There's 96 borders in different colors, gold, silver, black, and white. She took some of these silver ones and she did this along the top and the bottom edge, okay? And then that card was all done. I love how she did that. It was really fun and festive. Here's another one that Debbie made. This one, of course, uses the Santa again. She die cut the sky from black, okay? And then she also used silver linen paper from um, paperwishes.com. She covered her card front with that. And then she took this little Santa guy and she put paper behind it. So let me show you how this looks. She sort of paper pieced behind her paper cut right there. So you've got Santa and it looks like really fun colors and stuff and then she just gonna glue this right down because you don't want to show that edge. That when you're so and you could also use sticky specs with this. And if you're not familiar with Sticky Specs, it's a wonderful tool. I'll show it to you. All right, so that's just going to get closed like that. And then right here, she's got some Merry Christmas. Those are tiny words and phrases, dazzles, Christmas, and a little bit of glitter velvet, velvet glitter ribbon. Anyway, here are the Sticky Specs. So, Instead of using glue and taking that time, I could have definitely used the sticky specs, which would just turn the back into a sticker. All right. And then as you can see, she took, so this is how it looked when it was cut from black, but she also cut away the Santa on this one, and she used this part right here to edge this side of it. So it made a complete card that way. So yeah, oh, you know, if you have extra borders where you've cut away your Santa to do some paper piecing on any of these, keep these pieces because you can use them for a lot of different things.
I have one more card to show you here. Here's one using cute little birds under the mistletoe. And I'm just gonna show you how to put this one together. There we go. So I just took some card stock on this one. Here we go. And I cut this to, this is 12 inches wide to begin with. Okay, scored the center, folded it, so now it's six inches wide. And then it is eight inches this way, okay? And then this paper is from our new paper pack from Hot Off the Press. It's called Christmas Memories Paper. We're gonna do this, we're gonna make a little window. So I just cut this red polka dot paper slightly smaller than the card. And then I used the cutting dies, 12 circles and scallops from Hot Off the Press, made myself a window. The first thing is I'm gonna glue this green paper down. Okay. And then I've got my adorable little birds and I've backed behind the wing. I just put, took some more of this polka dot paper. Go right there. I'm gonna go right there, but I want that little tail to stick out on each side. That. And I'm going to just trim, glue that to the back of this. Oops. And I'm doing it this way because I want it to be centered just the way I want it. Little tails out. Cut off this excess fat. I'm going to center that on my card. And I can just use my little bit of glue. All right. Okay, now I want to put a little border right here. This was also from that paper pack. And a border right here. And this is Script Dazzle, Chris, Chris, Script Christmas Dazzles stickers. It's Happy Holidays. Just going to put this right across. And whenever I'm gluing things that are longer than my card, I like to align one edge so that I only have to cut things off inside if I can help it. All right, and so we've also got a couple of little stars that are left from our background when we die cut out our cute little under the mistletoe. Glue those right here. And we've got a little green velvet ribbon again. All right, there, as you can see, it's fun to make. And if these are such versatile edgers. We've got a great money saver on these, so I would encourage you to check that out. If you're watching this on our vlog page, they are on the right side of the screen. You'll see a photo, it says money saver under it. And you click on that and it'll take you to that page. If you're watching us on YouTube, just look in the description box, box below the video and you'll find the link to the money saver on this bundle of great uh, paper edgers and also a link to paperwishes.com where you'll find more videos and fun things to play with. So thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time. Hi guys, so we're back. I got so excited about these paper edgers, I forgot to show you one of the techniques that Debbie did and I wanted to make sure that I showed you. So on her little Santa right here and also on the little tassel right there on her penguins, Debbie used this great product from Cosmic Shiver, it's called Fluffy Stuff. And if you haven't seen this yet, 
It's great fun to use. It comes out as a liquid. I'm just going to do it on an extra piece of cardstock. And then you just heat it with your heat gun. I'm going to turn this on high. Maybe we can zoom in here, see. So what you're going to do is just put the heat gun on this, and in a second you're going to see it puff up and start to crack. There we go. Apparently my heat gun was deciding it needed to warm up. There you go. As you can see, it totally comes out in a different texture than what you started with in the liquid. And it is great fun on all of your snow or, in this case, trim on Santa's suit. I just wanted to make sure and show you.